Sport big against a team like this. They always are. Um, you know, we had some big hits off the bench tonight that made a huge difference in this game. Lane Adams was that due to the reverse splits that Delgado had? Or? Yeah, just um, I, I just thought it was a better matchup than than Matt Adams uh -huh. against Aleppi, and because um, you know Lane goes up there and he gives a three good half. So then um, he's you know he's a big strong guy, capable of running into one, and he did. Brandon's well, talked about not necessarily being a hundred percent in the first half, but what did you what have you seen from him these last couple of days? Just, oh, it's been really good. Yeah. Um, just swinging a bat really well, moving around good, and. and Big part of, of what we're trying to do. How about how Fulte kind of righted himself? I said I, I, th I was real. I was proud of Fulte. Uh, you know, he didn't have the best. He wasn't on mark that great. Um, he had to pitch around a lot of you know a lot of traffic, and and um, I thought he did a great job of keeping the game manageable. He went 117 pitches or a little bit more. I mean, I know that kind of good 100 kind of gets becomes a thing. Like they should be able to throw 135 pitches every time out and be fine. We're, as an industry, we're way too caught up in this 100-pitch thing. I mean, it's it's these guys get loose, and then they're gone, and they're going to give up runs before it's, you know, he's a big, strong kid. I, I, he, he's fine at 115, 120 every time out. Good to see Jace come in there. Yeah, it was good. It was a big line. hit for him. Um, and I told him to go up there and sign where he landed, because I'm going to we get one that far. I mean, yeah, I come around in 24 hours. Um, yeah, he caught all that one. What's your thought there where when Brandon flips to Dansby there and what was that second? Yeah, I, I, I really didn't know. <laughs> yeah. If he, you know, just if he couldn't ride himself to throw to first, so he wanted Dansby to throw it or what went on, but I'm just glad we got now. Was that Camargo and Dansby just not used to playing? Yeah, I, I don't know. There? I think Camargo, you know, Camargo's an aggressive guy, yeah, I, yeah. I think, and on the first one probably is his ball. He, he probably got called off, but that's one third baseman probably, got, you know, they kind of, Cut the angles, yeah. and he might have made the play. Um, and the second one, it just it didn't matter who caught it. I don't yeah. think it was going to matter. Hey, how about Rhett's brother? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great job. That? Did he not oh, see no, the brother no, though? No. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, 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 you have to ask him. I don't know. I'm just Johnny could have underhanded that ball. To, um, <laughs> but yeah, that was a good job by Rhett. So you know, come in, limit damage. It's okay. Give up a run or two, get some outs um, with the lead. He did a great job. You like the way the team went into the break and, and then also now here to come out of the yeah, break. Yeah, come out of the break, really good. I mean, two tough games. I mean, like I say, we're playing a really good team here. And, um, there's, you know, they're fighting for a lot just like we are. I mean, we're, you know, we're trying to win every game too. So, um, you know, guys resp have responded well. And, and with the layoff, didn't stop at all. I mean, we had a good, I thought, good series in, in um, Washington. And, and um, they got a little time off and, and came out. Gunning, so that's good.